Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I want to say happy Friday. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn off the tire pressure sensor light on your dashboard if you don't have sensors hooked up to it. Um, in my case, I have sensors, but they are not synced with the factory system. So this will show you how to go ahead and bypass it and get that light to be turned off. And huge shout out to Jason for helping me uh, find the original video for this. Um, so the channel that this video originally came from was called Nacho Libro. Uh, so if you guys are interested, check out his channel. His link is in the description below. Um, uh, but really, um, small channels do help bigger channels and I, and I want to give credit where credit's due. Okay. So here's some tools you might need, uh, wire strippers and cutters, a wire 10, 10 millimeter ratchet or a ratcheting wrench would be your best bet. Maybe a pry tool. That's really about it. Okay, so when I get in the car, you'll see the tire light is flashing, and that's because there is no um, tire pressure sensors. When I start it, all the unnecessary lights go off, but that one remains. So this is how we take it apart and get it taken care of. Okay, so you do have to take off the upper panel right here, but I need to make sure you understand something. These little holes right here, there's, there's four different locations. That's actually where the black trim on the bottom holds it in. Take your trim tool and you can put pressure on things. Um, basically you have to pop off these big white clips, these bo big body panel clips. Once you get those loose, you will have to mangle the bottom portion. Um, easiest way is to fold on the rear seat. Turn off this light. This light does get hot if it's on, so make sure you turn it off. And just pull back on it. There's a couple spots where it pops out. Okay, so once you have that white panel pulled off, you will need a 10 millimeter uh, ratcheting wrench or a socket wrench. I just have a little stubby guy here and then I used a razor because this wire loom is connected in two different spots of electrical tape and you can't really get the box up without that without even taking this plastic off um, if you look right here where are my fingers pointing that's where the bolt actually or the the box mounts to and it actually sits inside this cavity well right here. Okay, so the next piece now is going to be stripping back this wire loom so you have access to the wires. Okay, so from here you're gonna be looking for a dark blue wire and a pink wire on the back side. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and take off the tape here. Okay, so I'm trying to give you the best possible view on this. I know it's a little zoomed in, but basically you're going to want to tap this blue, this dark blue, to this pink right here. It's like a cotton candy pink in person right here. Uh, basically you just direct that to there. So let me do that real quick. Now, once you go ahead and get them uh, disconnected, you're gonna go ahead and connect the blue to the pink. Um, what I'm doing is I cut a separate cable to make this life easier. Okay, so once you get those wires tapped, it'll kinda look something like this. You have your dark blue and your pink, and then those connected back to the pink. Now, you could do a T-tap on the pink and just have the blue go to the pink and T-tap into it. I didn't have any T-tap so I decided just to do it this way. Um, so whatever your preference is, that's kind of up to you. Okay, it's connected. Let's go inside. I 
as you can see, no tire light. And that's so much better. Okay, and then once you get your wires tucked back away, um, and taped back up, you're good to go. Now my wire is a little longer, but that's all right. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, questions, comments, feedback, leave that below, and I'll see you guys next week.